All right. Hello, everybody. It's the end of October, just the last few days, and I have got an SM9 for you today. Woo! It's been a while since we've had one. I sure like these, but please be patient with me. It's been a while, so I might forget a few things, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. The SM9 is, this one's a 1965 and you can see the white keys with the turquoise accents here in the dark gray bottom half of the typewriter. Um, the carriage, I love their carriage because it's so smooth. Um, so the carriage is up here. Uh, of course it's up here. Wow, that was very profound. Okay, hope you guys got a chuckle out of that. Okay. Oh. Reset. Anyway, here's your paper guide. This pops up. There's a button right here, and then you can click it back down. Margins squeeze and drag, and they slide so easy. It's so nice. Your paper guide. Again, you can move it in, out, however you want to do that. Carriage release. You press down and move the carriage. This is an all tab clear. For individual tab sets, clear is right here. So you've got your tab, your set, and then you're all clear. Um, when you return, hit your return handle, if you want to adjust, if it um, for one, two, or three lines, that is going to be right here for you. And then up on the dot, if you put it all the way to the top, it's not going to do anything. It's kind of like a carriage protection thing. There is a carriage lock. So if you want to line it up and then right here on the left side, lift that up. There you go. Now it's in. You kind of just have to jiggle it in. And this is great for transportation. That way your carriage isn't going to uh, get loose, flop out. Sometimes uh, if you don't lock your carriage and you're moving it around and it gets jostled and moves the carriage, it can break the draw band. So this is just a safety feature. So if you get, when you get the a typewriter, if you get this one, and you go, I can't, it's not working. Okay, unlock the carriage. All right, this plus and minus. This is just a touch control. This determines how hard your key bars, uh, boy, whatever these are called, <laughs> how, they, how hard they strike your paper. Okay, and then on the right side, this is your um, color selector. It's been a long day. I think I need to take a break. Okay, and then your tab. Remember, you set and you clear here. Okay, now I'm going to open up the top so you can see. Oh, and then this is your paper release. Okay, so let's move this carriage. And the thing about this, the whole thing pulls up. So this whole white part, you just pull it up. Super easy. Okie dokie. So inside is your ribbon. Uses a universal ribbon. You can get new uh, ribbon on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. And we have a couple options there for you. To reverse the direction of your ribbon, see these double barrel things? You just pop, um, push it like that. Either side works, okay? Because when you get to the end of your ribbon, it's not the end of your ink. You just need to reverse the direction and then keep going back and forth to use up all of that ink the ribbon's actually not very long, but it will last you a long time because there's a lot of ink in that ribbon. When it's time to change it, just pull these um, arms back. They're spring-loaded. Um, pull those out. Pop a new one in. Make sure it is threaded through the guide wires properly. We have an up-close image of this on the website. Use the link below to take you to that. This is a very clean typewriter. I think you're gonna love how it types too. Let's go ahead and do our typing demo. All right, so as I said before, this is a 1965 and it's an SM9. Just set your paper right there. No need to um, shove it in or anything and then turn the hand. Oh, perfect example. This needs to be engaged and it's not engaged. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that I had the roller, um, released. So that goes all the way up to the top that released the roller. You can hear there's no clicks. 
this actually lets you do like fine adjusting. But as you saw, if it's not engaged, it's going to have trouble advancing the paper. So make sure you put it back down and that it's engaged. Voila. Oh, this the carriage just feels so good. Okay, I'm going to adjust my margins. I like narrow margins during our typing demos. Okay. So no number one, use a lowercase l. This is a 1965. Olympia SM9 and hold on I want this there we go okay just wanted to make sure it was where I wanted it thanks for your patience so if you are an avid writer this is the typewriter for you. Oops. Um, wow, and it's so clear. There's no bleed in it. The font is just really sharp and clear. It's so easy to type on. Everything mechanically on an Olympia is like butter smooth. It's like typing. I, I mean, it's like typing on a cloud or something or velvet it's just that smooth and it's that different from anything else which is why most people are willing to spend extra money for an olympia because the performance is just stellar on it these have um, plastic square keys and um, you just need a light touch. I I'm having a pretty heavy hand because I just did some really older ones that require a heavy hand. So I'm adjusting. Oops. And that's what happens when you hit too hard. But that's just part of typewriters. Okay. So this is um, an O. Oh. MR, that's your margin release. So on Olympia's, these two keys are switched. So normally backspace is here and margin release is here. So, but obviously margin release here, backspace here. And for those of you who don't know what a margin release is, nice bell. When you get to the end, the bell tells you you're at the end and you can't type, you can't do anything. So you hit margin release if you need to finish a word or something. And now you can keep typing. Okay. All right. So the quick. Oh, nice. Oh, and that bell sounds so good too. Okay. Okay. So, ooh. Fantastic machine. This is not a typewriter that you're going to want to stick on your shelf just for um, aesthetic reasons, you know, or to make your office look cool. No, there's plenty of other typewriters you can do for that. Instead, this one is a working machine. And um, who, so whoever gets this needs to be somebody who's going to be using this a lot because that's what this is for. Okay, let's do the red and our last sentence here. Perfect. You guys are going to love this. Check out the description below. And um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Okay, I'll put a picture of this on the website. This types so well. Everything, it's very clean. It's smooth. Really an SM9 that's in excellent condition. Somebody is going to love this. So thanks so much for watching. Let me pull this up so you can look at it better. But also look at the link in our description below. Have a great day.